Hey guys, this is Vincent. <clears throat> Lately I've been wondering why when either I or my own sister want to print a picture from our iPod, iPad, uh, whatever Apple products we have, even though we have wireless uh, printer upstairs, we go ahead and click print. And it says select a printer. So we wait for a while. And no printer printers found. Now, the reason why, and I can tell you this right now, is very simple, and I found out on the Apple's website itself. I'll go ahead and switch over and show you what I mean. And we're back. Now, what I was explaining before, the reason why I can't print, and it says it right here on the Apple website when you go to a certain tab, uh, primarily in the iPod, the uh, iPad 2. What it is, and it says it right here on their website, is uh, works with AirPrint enabled printers. The thing is, is that uh, ever since uh, I, uh, I'm not saying ever since, but when iPods and so on came out, iPod Touches, I mean, they were pre-installed with a software. Once when you plug into your computer with the quote-unquote AirPrint software, and basically what this does, like what any device would do, is your iPad or iDevice, uh, iPhone, iPod Touch would take the software that it has, which is the AirPrint software, and it would basically look for the same software but in a receiving version. What I mean by that is basically your iDevice is sending the information and looking for the receiver, similar to how a uh, laptop or a computer would w would look for a uh, router to get its internet. Well, once when it finds the router, it's done its job. That's where they both act uh, uh, the same. But this one is just one thing. It's just sending it to one uh, place, and that's it. So, basically, uh, if I didn't explain this clear enough, uh, I'm trying to make sure I get everybody to understand, is it's taking your photo, your email, and it's putting it into the uh, AirPrint software and your iPad is the sender where your printer like any other printer would be would be the receiver and then it prints it into a hard copy if you don't know what a hard copy is it's basically what you can hold in your hand a soft copy is basically what you see on like an iPad or an iPhone or your computer now the problem with this um, and I'm not trying to diss on Apple because I myself will, gain be, will be getting a Mac eventually because I'm tired of Windows, it's pissing me off all the time is uh, what they've basically done is made it so that way only you can, uh, the only way to print your uh, documents, your emails, your pictures and so on is by purchasing a quote unquote air print enabled printer now the only problem with that is uh, I bought a printer that was only $63 and it works great. It works with all my devices except for my iPod because it does not have the AirPrint enabled, well the AirPrint software. Now the problem I have with that is I've looked on here and I don't like the pricing. The pricing ranges everywhere from $150 or $100 is the lowest and it goes all the way up to about I don't know if I'm remembering right here yeah 300 or I think I see, yeah here it is or four hundred dollars uh, do I think it's worth it no because the uh, printer I bought not only does was it cheap but just getting refilled ink cartridges or new ink cartridges is also cheap just costing thirty dollars and from these depending on the brand depending on uh, how well or how expensive it is it will also depend on how expensive the ink can be as well I'm just saying it, it can be not proven by that but uh, if you want my advice if you have your printer don't bother buying a new one but if you need a new one I would suggest buying one probably one of their cheapest ones that you know for a fact will work with your device if you don't know 100% it will work with it call the company up then make sure or go to a Mac store and then buy it there uh, now the other ways that I've heard of is basically and you can look this up on YouTube too is a app where 
you would install the server to your computer and then you would install it to your iDevice as well. What that would basically do, and I'm going to go ahead and back up here a bit. Oh, hold on. Uh, here we go. And what it will basically do is that the software will be installed on your iPad, then the software will be installed onto your computer. What this is doing is creating a bridge, similar to one of my other videos where basically you be uh, making your computer into a wireless network. Uh, that was also dealing with bridging, but this one is a slight bit easier to uh, do. The reason why is because all you're doing is installing a software and making sure that the two items are linked. The bad thing about this is that uh, in order for this to work, one, your uh, printer, uh, I'm sorry, your PC has to have the software that links your PC to that printer. The second problem with that is that PC that you uh, quote unquote installed the uh, service, and I don't know why I'm saying quote unquote so much, I, I really don't know why I'm not even, not even be using it right, but uh, in order for you to print, basically it would send it from your iDevice to your computer, like this one, and then it would send it straight to your printer. The problem with that is that you're basically using your computer, like I said before, as a bridge. And doing that means you have to have this computer on in order to print. So it's it's basically kicking out the entire it's Wi-Fi. You can print from anywhere. It's basically taking that and throwing it out of the room. So your three options, which I am on the third option, your first option is to buy a AirPrint printer, AirPrint enabled printer. Your second option is to buy the software I told you about. That's like I believe ten, fifty dollars. I, I can't remember because I looked this up a long time ago and you'd have to have your computer on pretty much all the time if you want to print it. So let's see, you spend $150 or you can go with the 10 to $50, I can't remember exactly, or you can go with my option which is 100% free. Basically all I'm doing is, uh, is taking whatever I receive on my iPod and then emailing it back to myself. Or if it's already in my email and I checked it, I can just go back to my computer, not have to resend it, look at my email, then print it off. Or if it's a picture, I sync it up to my iPod, I sync that picture into my library with my computer, and then I can just print it off that way. It does. It is a little bit more. You have to work on it than anything else, but at least it's 100% free, and you don't have to worry about anything. Those are the three options I, I would suggest. Like I said, I go with my third option because it doesn't cost me anything and don't have to worry about it. And again, I'm not dissing on Mac, but they're basically saying if you're going to buy our iPod, if you want to print, you got to buy more stuff. That's their option. Personally, I don't like it, but uh, I live within. This is the only time I've actually ranted about it. Uh, and another note for those of you who are Mac fans and who are just saying I'm a PC uh fanboy I'm not I'm getting tired of PCs they've been giving me a headache uh for the past few years I'm going to be switching to a Mac when I can get the money cuz they are uh and I can just show you right here cuz I'm going to be going with a MacBook Pro uh 13 inch cuz I want it to be somewhat portable uh I'm going to be getting a MacBook whenever I can afford the money but as for now can't and for those of you who have been suffering over this headache about it, hopefully this clears some stuff up. It gives you some options. Uh, and that's about it. Anyway, this is Vincent from Wolfland Productions, and I'll see you all in another one of my videos.